Hello guys and welcome to the Ibiza vlog. I've currently got Freya in the background shooting pics. Nadia's taking them and we're about to check in. There's a random steamer on the floor, very classic. So we're currently just getting the bags wrapped because mine popped open this morning, um, which is a bit of a nightmare. So might get a new one while I'm out there um, for now. Freya's never wrapped her case before and the one time she does, it's not she has now, to yeah. um, take stuff out. <laughs> oh Freya! We have just arrived at the hotel. Looks so gorgeous, very aesthetic, great for pics. In the buggy on the way to our hotel room. So we've just unpacked all of our stuff and I'm gonna give you guys a room tour in a bit. But first of all, we're gonna just go head to the pool, have a glass of wine, have some food. Um, haven't eaten all day and it's now like 3.30. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah, but what is it in England? 2.30, I think. Oh. Still quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I got this gorgeous bandeau bikini on from Marble Swim X Nadia. Got the designer herself. Yay! These are like kind of light flowy beach trousers. They are supposed to be see-through guys, don't worry. These are from Nasty Girl. So I've got these really cute Hermes um, dupes on from Amazon Fashion and then my little Louis Vuitton bag. Day two in Ibiza. It's actually quite cloudy today, which is ideal, but apparently it's only today that's cloudy and it's going to be sunny the rest of the time. We also found out last night that Ibiza is going on the Amber List, which is actually fine because we're leaving the day before you have to like quarantine and everything, so we should be okay. Um, so yeah, I've been quite lucky in that sense. Anyway, today we're going to go quickly take some pics. Um, this is my outfit today. So gorgeous, if I do say so myself. Um, this is from All New Look, actually. Literally everything's New Look. And then I was going to pair it with my New Look bag, which is very sweet. Freya, Nadia and I literally all bought this exact bag. Um, this bag is as well. Yeah, yeah. And I still haven't given you guys a room tour. And I want to say I'm going to do it later, but I know for a fact I won't. Um, so I'm going to do it now, it's very messy though, so please do excuse the mess. We have the balcony here, we've got the gorgeous Nadia, and we've got cute little coffee tables. I love these rattan chairs, very pretty. And then this is our view, you can actually see the sea, I don't know if you'll be able to see on the vlog, but you can see the ocean, which is beautiful. And then we have like this big long dresser, um, here is the bed, look very kind of simple and easy. Here's the wardrobe. And then we have the bathroom here. All of our crap everywhere. We also have a mirror on the ceiling. Very sexy vibes. And then we've got one full length mirror here, which is a bit of an issue. Because we definitely need more 
than the one, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along shooting with us now. Okay, so I just shot my outfit, now I'm gonna do Nadia. So just arrived at Calabasa Beach Club, hoping to get a table here. It's a bit of a drive away from um, where we're staying. So fingers crossed we get a bed as we couldn't book anything, but it looks very beautiful. It's just on the beach. And if we can't get a table, we're gonna just try to eat at the restaurant. So it should be fine either way. So we've got some champagne sangria. Looks incredible. I've never had champagne sangria. I've only ever had like red wine. Thanks. Cheers, girls. Cheers. 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 You're getting magic tricks. Oh. So clever. <laughs> That's really wow. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually really fluty. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to get a taxi for the last like 45 minutes. There are no taxis in Ibiza at the moment. So if you come to Ibiza, make sure you book pre -book, taxis, pre-book, even everything. the restaurants, the beach clubs, everything. At this restaurant called SK, and Farrah was like, we're at this place called Restaurante. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just called Restaurant SK. Good morning, guys. It is day, that's four, three in Ibiza. Um, it's currently nine o'clock, and Nath and I are just on the balcony. We're doing our makeup. Put you guys on a little time lapse. Um, I think it's been quite a chill day today. Um, I think we're just going to like hang around the hotel. The hotel's actually so gorgeous. So I'm going to get some content, um, like smash that out this morning, and then I think just relax. Great, thanks so much. We have ordered four green teas to the room. So Ned and I are about to go take some pics. We're both, oh god, I wish we get a pic together. Because yeah. we're both in white, that'd be cute. And an angel. Angels. <laughs> um, so this is a beautiful dress from Out Dazzle. I can't remember the designer, um, but it's a really nice website. It's kind of quite boho-y. And then I've got some new look sliders on. Nad's outfit is from Zara. Zara always. How funny does Nad say Zara, by the way, guys? And in the bag we all have. Zara. 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 I didn't even hear what you said though. <laughs> Just lagging you off. <laughs> key. I've got the key. Okay, so everything's there? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, I need my camera. Sorry. There it is. Hello. Hello. We're going down now, so we'll meet you down there. Cool. No worries. Down cool. there. See you in a bit. <laughs> We have been shooting all morning and I have been a terrible vlogger. Um, it's just really hard to shoot when it's like midday and it's very bright sun and the shadows are directly above. But we're getting there slowly. We've done some nice pics just here on the balcony. It's very pretty. I'm gonna get ready and I've asked you guys on Instagram to ask us questions. Yeah, and so we're gonna do our makeup, get ready for you guys, answer some juicy questions. First one, any tips for enjoying your holiday and not comparing yourself to others when wearing a bikini? It's the bling 
thing. I talk about it all the time. Like when you just have your vintage on, mm. and, and and that's really shit advice to take. I mean, the thing I always say is like, only you are you, and that is your power. And the thing is as well, if you are curvy, you want to be skinny. If you're skinny, you want to be curvy. And yeah. Whatever you are, somebody's gonna want to be you, and whatever you are, you're gonna be want to be somebody else. No one's ever, not every, not no one, but a lot of people just aren't happy with what they have. They always want something different. Yeah. And the different thing that you want, they always want something different. And it's it's like at some point we've all just got to learn to stop and just just enjoy what we have. Enjoy one life. Just accept it. Yeah. Just have fun with it. Life. Like we were saying it earlier. Life is just so, so short. short. <laughs> That's just like only we're a third for our life. Like, oh, let's have fun. Order the mojito. <laughs> but it's scary. Like life is so short. We just gotta. You just yeah. gotta roll with it. You can't you really cannot stress out too much because honestly, like yeah. we're gonna. I mean, even this last two years, for example, like we've blinked and it's gone, right? Oh my like, god, it's so true. And I just think as well, like when I was a bit younger, I used to hate having small boobs. Like I don't even. I like I love my body when I'm like naked, but I think when you're when I got clothes on, I look quite like flat chested. And I used to hate it, feel so insecure. But then I'm like, actually, I love my body. Yeah. So why should I care what people think about when they don't actually know my body? That's the thing. They don't know you. They don't have a, a right to have an opinion. Yeah, exactly. I love small boobs. In fact, I've always had small boobs as well. Like, and that, that is, excuse me. <laughs> We're talking. Like two years or so, I feel like they've definitely, definitely gone a couple cup sizes. And yeah. I still love them, but I enjoy having small boobs. Definitely. And that's just what I enjoy. Like, I just, I think they suit me. It's what God gave me, and I like them. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. The amount of clothes Nick has, my sister, my twin, yeah, um, that she will fit like in her waist and in her like everywhere else, but her boobs won't let her won't let her wear them. It's yeah, same with B. Yeah, and she's yeah. always like when I used to also not like having small boobs, and she'd be like just enjoy it because I couldn't wear that top. Yeah, it physically fit on my boobs, and I'm like okay. Best designer purchase. I would say my Chanel classic flap, just because cost per wear is so low, and I think anything that has a low cost per wear is worth the money. For sure. Um, that is so your style as well. Yeah. It's like perfectly fits into your wardrobe. It does and I just wear it so much and it goes with everything and it's never going to have style. There are so many planes going over. <laughs> what about you? So I think it'd be my mini Chloe C. Yeah. So I wear it constantly. Again, cost per wear honestly must be like a couple of pounds right now. But it's more of a winter bag for me but I think it's just... It just again slots into my wardrobe so easily. Mm. I love it. It goes with everything. It's like the bag that I would reach for all the time. So yeah, probably that in black. And I do want to get it in like a brown or like a mauve mm. for like I summertime. No, I, I was gonna get it in a light. The sage green. Remember I sent you that, and they sent yes. me the wrong color a few times. So did they? Yeah, I, I kept ordering the sage, and they kept sending me this like it's called forest green. Yeah, that's so I had to keep annoying. sending you back, and then I just gave up. But yeah, I think black mini Chloe C. How do you guys know each other? How do we know? When did we meet? It was on Lorna's. Was it? Was it Lorna's? Yeah. yeah, we went in Cannes for Lorna's trip. Yeah. So we went on a work trip. I actually look like a little thumb. I remember when I first saw you in the airport. I do. <laughs> I remember thinking straight away, oh my god, she's stunning. I was so nervous. I didn't know anybody. I think I knew Lorna at that point, but I didn't know any of you girls going on the trip. Yeah. You were with who was it? As of Lauren. Yes. And I remember texting you like, where are you? Yeah. And then we just clicked, didn't we? We clicked straight away, yeah. yeah. We got on really well. And like shooting each other's content, I felt like so comfortable around that straight away. And yeah. I think that's very, very rare with like shooting content. It's very much yeah. like you have to be with somebody who you really like. Gel like. with, yeah. Um, so that was really nice. Also, we're the same height, we're kind of the same vibe when we shoot and like at, at yeah. angles and stuff. And so, like, it's very easy when it's very easy when somebody's like the same height as you because yeah. you just get it. <laughs> so true. But we met in Cannes on a work trip and then just became friends from there. Yeah. How long ago was that then? That was like three years ago. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And then now we moved to London. Yeah. And then we like shoot and stuff together. We saw each other in between though. Yeah, we shot like a couple times, I think. Yeah, we didn't really see each other that much, do we? No. That's but weird. we like, always stayed in contact. Yeah. Okay, one beauty product you can't live without. Well. I was about to say, the Kate <laughs> Somerville SPF, we've yes. been using it this holiday. <gasps> it's so good. It's basically like a spray you put on your face. 50 plus. 50 plus. It's a setting spray, SPF. It smells like lavender. It doesn't give you like a white cast on your skin. And you, how many times will you do your makeup and then think, I put my SPF yes. on. So annoying. <laughs> it's the, the worst work. thing ever. And you're like, well, I'm not going to take my makeup off. Yeah. Unless you can just 
put it back, like straight back on. It's so good. Yeah, good. You? Good. You Scottish? Yeah. She's Scottish. Yeah. I am. <laughs> uh, we're from Glasgow, but we live up in the Highlands. Okay, the next question is, why do you think Nadia? Do you say Nadia or Nadia? I say Nadia, but English people say Nadia. Nadia. Because I always feel like you say Nadia, so I feel like I should say Nadia. No, either. Nadia. I don't notice the difference. Okay, when that's good. Says it. Um, yeah, so why are you, why are you and Nads such good friends? That's cute. So cute. You were saying this earlier. Actually, we did have this conversation earlier, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We were just saying how, like, we just have good auras around each other. Yeah, and also, do you know what? It's like, we were saying we're, we're both very, like, straight talking people. Very straight. You're a lot more gentle in your ways than me. <laughs> yeah, Nads is very straight to the point and very blunt, <laughs> like, she won't hold back. But it means that you then cultivate people around you. Yeah, you attract the right people. The right and you don't people, waste. Yeah. I've always said this my people, my people, my followers. Well. <laughs> my people, <laughs> my people. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. You end up not having people around you that are not right for you. You only have people around you that you've allowed in to your yeah. space. Which I think we, because both of us are the same, mm. it was like a real strong drawing to each other definitely that makes sense i find it very hard to be around people who aren't straight talking because i immediately question so like do they like me am i saying the right thing am i saying yeah. the wrong thing and i think that's obviously like a confidence thing that's my own problem but it definitely like comforts me to be around people who are very straight talking and also just like the same as you you just kind of like you know the personality traits and other kind of Vibe. Yeah, you can just gel with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, both love talking about really random stuff. Like last night, what was that conversation? <laughs> we were talking about aliens last night. We were talking about conspiracy theories. Yeah. But then also things like life goals and plans and law of attraction. We're both yeah. very much into like the law of attraction and that kind of thing. And I think for some people, they just think it's such like pee dippy like yeah. crap. Yeah. We kind of like we bounce off each other. Some things, some topics people find really weird and mm. don't understand, which is fine. But I feel like those weird topics we both pro it, so yeah. we can like bounce off each other with it. I'm gonna get my part on. So I mean, uh, like being more simple, we have same job, same interests. Yeah, we love fashion. Same morals, same. Just like we're just similar, aren't we? Very similar. Yeah, we introduced Freya last night to um, the world of aliens. <laughs> And poor Freya left the table. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> uh, That's interesting. Actually, you guys should put down below if you believe in aliens or not. Yeah, do you guys think aliens are real? Do you think we've already made contact with them? Like, what are your opinions? Yeah, I'm intrigued. We're very much into the whole, like, aliens are real kind of vibe. Yeah, we think they're real. Yeah. We know they're real. No, we know they're real. <laughs> <laughs> they're among us. No, but I feel like it's all—it's really nice as well, just to like meet people in your industry and in your work, and then just click. Yeah. Because so yeah. I think our job can be quite isolating sometimes. For sure. So. And I think it's also very easy to isolate yourself. What are the deal breakers in a relationship for you guys? It's like motivation, ambition. Yeah. So unattractive when somebody just doesn't have any drive. Drive. Like, I want to be motivated by my partner. They have to make me, like, when I'm having a down day, they have to get me out of bed and be like, yeah. what are you doing this for? Yeah. Like, why are you working? What is your goal? Like, yeah. come on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And also, um, like, I want to be inspired by that person. Yeah, like, they have to be your motivator as well as, like, a best friend and everything like that. And also your, your champion. Yeah, your champion. You need someone to, to be... I feel like Johnny's really like that though, isn't he? He's great. I like watch his like Instagram videos and he's like... Yeah, I do as well from like in bed <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I should probably go out of bed and start waking up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he's great. But we like, we're very good at knowing when... Okay, I read this thing the other day. It said, um, oh, I don't even know where I read it. Somebody said that they've made this thing in their relationship. It wasn't someone I know, it was like the internet. That they said from an early early on, they, when someone's like upset or needing advice or whatever, they say, "Do you want?" Um, yes, I see this. this. Do you want comfort? Yeah. Or do you want solutions? What was that then? How do we both? It was like that? a meme or something. I feel like maybe. I don't know. And I was like, it's that so is true. such a good thing to live by. Because sometimes you need a shoulder to cry on, sometimes you need to be given the facts and told to like move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you need a bit of tough love. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's really good. 
what do you think Johnny is? Is he like tough love or is he? He's always tough love. That's like his go-to. Yeah. And sometimes I say to him, I don't need advice. I just need you to listen. Yeah. And agree with me, even if I'm wrong. Yeah. But he's he's very much like a problem solver. That's good. That's yeah. Good. But a deal breaker, same as you, just no ambition and also table manners. Oh, have table come. manners. Happy nicer waiters. If somebody's rude to it, stuff any kind of stuff like even a flight yeah. flight attendant or like waiters mm -hmm. or receptionist just anything i remember on one of the brand trips that we've been on i remember yeah. one of the girls do you remember yeah one was it when we were on together yeah when we were on together yeah, yeah i know one of the girls was really rude mortifying to, and we were sat there like it's so embarrassing because it like comes off as well like we're in a group so like it looks like we're being rude as do well do you remember that whole scenario as well the waiter did nothing wrong yeah i know what have you learned from each other? I love you both. We love you too. We love you. I love that question. That's such a nice question. A lot is the answer. Aww. Mm. Just to be like, you know how we talked about law of attraction last night? Like I, tr I do I do it and I try and implement it. Whereas I feel like yeah. you live by it. Really? And yeah, I feel like that's what I said earlier about your aura. Like yeah. when you come into like Kate's space, like you can't not be. <laughs> When I'm in a really good headspace, yeah, and when I'm busy, I don't story for otherwise. Yeah. So like you can never go off that kind of thing. But yeah, no, I feel like you work really, really hard, like really passionate. And you're also just really like humble about everything. Like I feel like you have so much <laughs> you <give> me everything. <laughs> Thank I feel you. like you've got so much to like show that you don't show your audience. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, just because you're really humble. And I think that's really, really nice. I'm so kind of you. <laughs> I love that. I feel like, um, felt like we're both influences on each other, but like it's a good match. It is good. It's a yeah. positive. You have to surround yourself though by like positive people. Yeah. We were saying earlier, there's nothing yeah. worse than being around like draining negative people. Because it literally, it would literally drain you. Mm. We were saying earlier, if you're an introvert, being around people. Yeah drains you if you're an extrovert it gives you energy yeah and we're both introverts it's not like i'm drained being around you <laughs> yeah get me home <laughs> you like earlier when you just went quiet then like, you yeah. just like you just need your time you just need a bit of time just to like collect and gather your thoughts yeah and then you're like good to go again and i'm i'm actually all of them like kate come on talk 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 yeah like, actually, like, you just that's how you recharge yeah you just have to recharge that way yeah how do you girls plan for holiday outfits and what you're wearing tonight I'm not sure. You're wearing green that. on your face. Stop it. What kind of green? It's like a bright green. What's that? Oh, that's powder. Um, it's color correcting. Oh. <laughs> Let me buff that out. Um, <laughs> so to plan, I always take photos of everything okay. and I put it into an album. Yeah. So I wear it because you don't know if something's gonna look good or not until you wear it. So I've got like an Ibiza album. Mm. I can't really show my clothes because I might be a bit nude in some of them. <laughs> but like, I've got an Ibiza album and I've got everything. And honestly, without this album, I wouldn't know what's in my case. Yeah. Even when it's in your drawer, you don't know what the outfit looks like together. Yeah. Until it's in a picture. So yeah, I've got this little album. And you've done the same, right? I did the exact same. I do it everywhere I go. Every time I do anything, I take pictures of bag, shoes, outfit. Yeah. I'm just trying to see where mine is. You know, you can go like that. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you did that to my phone the other day, and I was like, Excuse me, how many pictures did somebody take? <laughs> Basically, like this in a messy room. Yeah. And you just like literally pop it on, you've got all the accessories, and then you can just know that's like, that's the full outfit. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, and then tonight, I actually don't know what I'm wearing tonight. Actually, I'm wearing the one I literally just showed you guys, but I'll show you it when it's on. It's like that blouse I had on. It's like smart cash. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, what am I wearing tonight? Oh, I might wear this like Zara TV piece. 
Like a silky. Yes, that's gorgeous. A silky Zara two piece that we can see. I'll show you guys later anyway. Makeup's done. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. My lips. <laughs> the lips. You'll never finish until you do the lips. No. Literally, your makeup looks so shit until. I know. Two lips drops. I know. And I've all sat of my hair in this bun all day. Yeah. It's been like sweaty. The gel it down. So at least, like. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll speak to you later. Bye. We are going out for dinner. I'm just filming on my iPhone because I left my camera in the room, which is up here, which is already locked. I'm just going to film on my iPhone. This is my outfit. I've got a Zara top on, which I've just noticed has foundation on. These trousers are Nasty Girl. If you're wondering why all of my clothes are from Nasty Girl, what we did. it's because yeah, I okay. panic ordered the night before and it was the only shop that was doing like 11.30 the night before next day delivery. So that's why. We started with dinner and look at the view, so gorgeous. What's this place called? Sapunta. Sapunta. Thanks, <laughs> Lenny. <laughs> 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 I've just done my makeup and got ready. Um, it's actually our last day here. So, am I in focus? Yeah, it's our last day, like full day here. Um, so we're about to go get our COVID test. So yeah, to leave the country, you have to have obviously a negative test. And the hotel luckily does it. So we're just gonna pop down to the reception and get one now. Um, I think we're just getting like an antigen test. And basically if you come back negative, I mean positive, you're like putting a quarantine hotel room for like two weeks and you don't have any say in it so fingers crossed we're fine we did take one just like an nhs one yesterday um and obviously came back negative um so it should be okay but imagine it comes back positive and if we you die <laughs> we're all done we're gonna have the results in a few minutes so that was an aggressive test i've ever had she looked like that that's <laughs> us down on the hot seat <laughs> my test has come back negative thank the lord um so yeah all ready and fit to fly tomorrow and we've just got to get another test um two days from england so we got one two days before flying and i think that one is like 120 pounds so it's really easy um that was like a pcr one and then we've had this one and it's 70 euros and then i don't know how much the one afterwards is so it does add up a little bit but that's life in covid times so you're now off to go take some pics um i've got this bikini on which is actually freighters and it's gorgeous and then these are our shorts on as well I was just quickly running up to the room because we're about to get um, in the taxi and go on a boat, which is quite exciting. It's doing a nice little boat day. Really looking forward to like, getting in the sea and having a bit of a change of scenery as well. Be so far, we've kind of just done a lot of chilling and um, relaxing, but be nice to be kind of different on our last day. looking gorgeous in her Bottega green. I feel like that's your colour of the holiday. I know. Your speed is going to look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just about to jump on the boat. Don't know what it looks like or anything. So it's not a dinghy.
my tits fully came out. I cannot. What's she say? Does it feel, guys? It's so nice. <laughs> the captain just goes, do you want to just launch? I think you said I have something on my <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Love your outfit, very nice. Thanks. Dinner, oh my god, look at my tan lines, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, just handing out dinner. What's the place called again? Um, La Lea, I think. La Lea. I've never been, I've never even heard of it. Mm. Right, it's new. About like an eight minute drive from here, so. I've got this really cute like Zara two piece on, it's very like silky, um, but it's really showing off the tan lines. I am just shooting the gorgeous fray of this stunning background. Very cute. Thank you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. We are all very same, same but different tonight. Now kind of like nude, <laughs> neutral outfits. That is beautiful. Imagine getting content there. The ride up Leela is taking us a hot second to work out how to get in. Wait, can you not get in that way? Oh my god. Wait, what? How did you get in? Wait, are we at the back maybe? Oh my god, we found it. <laughs> oh my god, this looks very cool. But in the restaurant, it is gorgeous, but it's very, very dark and like quite like a sexy, more of a date night kind of vibe. Um, which is very lovely, but obviously on our last night, there's four of us girls, we want to have a bit more fun than this. So we're going to try and book somewhere else. We're really trying to get a table in, I think it's called Babida, and it's like in the Novi Hotel, so that might be quite nice. So, thank you. Look at my It's hilarious. Okay, we're at Novi now, and it's lovely. So we're just in the Novi Hotel now. We've all got blankets wrapped around us, because it's kind of chilly. We're going to have some ice. Ray's just feeding the cactus. <laughs> it fell out the ice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the ones on the um, We have the most amazing wine. It's like a nice Chardonnay. And um, just ordered some food. Um, and yeah, that's the hotel behind us. Um, the veggie menu here is amazing. But I want like a hot thing, so it should be okay. Um, I look very red. I'm not as bad as you guys. Not on Bali like mainland. Hello guys, so I'm now back home in England, as you can see. The journey home was a bit stressful. I actually arrived at the airport about three and a half hours before we had to check in. So I was really early. I was really happy about it because I was like, it's gonna be very busy because obviously um, there was loads of people rushing to get back to England before it went on the amber list. So it was so busy. And even though I got there like one of the first people, I was still in the queue for like two and a half hours maybe. And I feel like that just everyone was really stressed. Like the airport staff were really stressed. They were so rude. And, like all the people trying to come home were stressed. It was just... It was a lot. Yeah, I'm home at Safe and Sound. I had the best time in Ibiza with the girls. I've just edited this vlog back as well. And I've realised that like some of the best moments of the trip we weren't vlogging and it's just like, I don't know, it's just quite unnatural to bring out the camera when you're like having these really good moments. And I also realised that Freya and Alice weren't in the vlog a lot, um, but obviously we were together like pretty much all the time apart from when we were in our rooms. So yeah, hopefully I got kind of like the highlights and showed you guys, showed you guys where we went and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video, which I think will be a Zara haul. So yeah, I'll see you then. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye. Mwah.